when I fixed and I was the one to 48 scale chipmunk, uh, like a lot of people who used to be in the cadets, I was well chuffed because uh, I really wanted to build this. It's something that uh, I flew in many times, so checked aftermarket decals that were available, and there were some for 11 AAF, which was RAF Lehman, which is where the local base where I went flying. Um, so get out the old air cadet boot, which I've still got, and let's see if I can find an aircraft I've been in. And this is the one I found, WK517, which, according to my old record book, I flew in in 1991. The kit itself is really nice to build. Uh, it, it's really well made. I uh, did enhance it with a, quite a few uh, optional extras from Edwards with the photo etch. And uh, again, went together really nice. Fit was really good. Decided to keep the engine cowling shut uh, just for this one because it's, I'm doing it as one that I've been in. I just wanted to make it look like the flying aircraft. Uh, and yeah, painted it with Tamiya paints as I normally do. Uh, glossed it. And yeah, it, it turned out it turned out as, as well as I'd hoped, really. Um, again, it's not perfect. Um, I'm sure people could pick holes in it. But this is my interpretation of an aircraft that I have actually been in. Uh, for all of 31 minutes um, probably did a stall turn in it probably felt sick uh, but loved every second of it and uh, it's a real shame that cadets don't get to fly in these things anymore because um, it was an absolutely gorgeous aircraft to fly in. it was really good really enjoyable um, stunk the high heaven when you start the engines but it was just a hell of an experience and there's the view that most air cadets got the first time they approached the, the cockpit uh, so now I'll shut up and just let you enjoy the rest of the photos. Um, thanks for checking the channel out. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.